Power Query is built in to Excel 2016 and it's a download for Excel 2013 and 2010. It's amazing at transforming and cleaning up data. And one sort of transformation that happens all the time, especially here in Australia, and it used to happen to me in the UK, was you get reports out of systems that are in US date format. And it's a bit of a nightmare to try and clean up those dates. But now Power Query can fix that in a few clicks. You don't even have to write a single formula. So let's take a look at this little table. So here we've got some invoice data in US date format and amount and whether these invoices have been paid or not. And I want to do some debtor analysis. So I want to see how many invoices are outstanding by how many days. Well, I can't do that with US date format if I'm in Australia. Excel just won't recognize it. Power Query can convert this data easily and then I can do my analysis. So all we do, we go to data. This is Excel 2016. There'd be a Power Query ribbon if you downloaded Power Query. You say from table. So now we're in the Power Query window. And if I change this to date, you see we get errors because it's not in uh, Australian date format. Uh, this date here says it's the 8th of November. Actually, it's the 11th of August. So it's got it wrong. And sometimes that can happen in Excel as well. So we don't want to do that. What we actually want to do is click on this little icon Go down to using locale. This takes a few seconds to load, but essentially we're going to pick a data type that is date. And then the locale, because this is source data is a US format, we're going to find the US. It's under English United States. So I just type E to jump down to the E's. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And English United States there and you click OK. And this now is a nicely formatted date in the proper format, 11th of August. Just a couple of clicks. It's pretty cool. Um, let's just tidy these up a little bit. I'll change these two types to text. I'll change this to a decimal number. That column is going to be text. And actually, I can do another cool thing. I can work out how many days since the invoice was raised. So I just click on the invoice date column. I'm going to add a new column. Go to date and click age. And here's a number of days to, to, to today's date. I can just change that to a whole number. And here's my aging days. I can now load this back into Excel. I'm just going to load it into a table. I'll put it right next to this existing table here. Now this source file could be an external um, file or it could be an external system and just pull the data straight into Excel. And here we have it. Nicely formatted. US dates. And then I can quickly go design, summarize a pivot table. I want the invoice amount by customer and by aging. And whether it's paid or not, I'll add that as a slicer. So I'm only interested in ones that haven't been paid. Here we can see a quick analysis of where our problematic outstanding invoices are. So I hope you find that interesting. Power Query is just amazing at transforming data. Um, it will save you huge amounts of time. So please find out more about Power Query. Thanks.